A warm welcome to Anuradha Vedic Astrology. Today we are going to talk about Guru Pushya Yoga. Guru Pushya Yoga is also called Amrit Siddha Yoga. And this is a yoga which will be seen on the 25th of January. It is one of the very powerful yogas. But before we begin, a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing and subscribing to our YouTube and Spotify channels and writing in your suggestions and your comments there. If you haven't written or subscribed to us, please do. And do remember to press the bell icon so that you can get the updates ASAP. Guru is said to be the greatest of all benefits. According to an old Tamilian temple where it has been inscribed on its walls, Guru has the ability to give you 16 kinds of wealth that are very essential for a happy life. And they, part, they form a part of our happy lives. So, when we talk about Guru Pushya Yoga, it becomes very un important for us to first understand what are the components of the yoga. In the Panchang, we have the five elements. As per the Panchang, the elements are Tithi, Var, Nakshatra, Karan and Yoga. So, when we have the Guru Pushya Yoga, it is meant that on a Thursday, that is Guru Var, this yoga happens when moon is transiting through the Pushya Nakshatra. The deity, and I repeat, the deity of Pushya Nakshatra is... Guru or Brihaspati. So when you have two elements of the Panchang which are ruled by Brihaspati, that is the Vara and the Nakshatra, Brihaspati then becomes very powerful in the currency of that chart of, of that day and has the potential to give people all that they desire and much, much more. So that makes that particular day with Guru Pushya Yoga a very powerful day. Now, Guru Pushya Yoga, if you look into the Panchang, will occur three or four times a year. When it will be a Thursday and moon will be in the Pushya Nakshatra. So, those days are very powerful. But this on the 25th of January is very, very powerful. Why so? Because it is the Purnamashi of the Posh Mass. So, on the, in the Pushmas, when uh, Purnima means the moon is in full glory, it is Pakshabali. So, the moon is also very strong, the Vara is strong and so, this as per Brihat Shastra, this is a very, very strong yoga. And it is also called the Amrit Siddha Yoga because it has a capability of bestowing so many siddhis to a person that a person can really look forward to any of his or her heart's desire to be fulfilled. So what is it that one can do? But before we move on to that, there are a few things that one needs to do to be able to unlock, so to say, the good things that you can get from this yoga. First and foremost, Rishi Parashar has mentioned it very clearly in his uh, book, in his writing, that one needs to do good deeds. You need to do certain uh, dharmic. It's not very religious, but it is about uh, spiritual deeds one needs to do. And the uh, and the and there is a very strong mention of taking holy dip in the holy rivers. So that will also help in a lot of cleansing of your uh, aura and stuff. So you need to do these things to be able to take in all that is good that this yoga brings into our lives. Now this is also said to be a muhurta where you don't really need to consult the panchang about what is good. This is in Hindi said to be a bina dekha muhurt. That means you don't need to consult anybody to find out whether this muhurt is good or not. This is deemed to be a very classically very good muhurt. And what is it that you can do in this uh, yoga? Anything that you require stability about can be done in this yoga. Now I need to explain one more point about this yoga before I go on to say what can be done 
and what is it that people from different areas of life can do in this yoga. So, as I said, this nakshatra of Pushya, the deity is Guru Brahaspati and the one which dispenses of with the result is Saturn. It is said to Saturn dominated uh, nakshatra. So, Saturn gives things at a for a long period of time. So, anything that you want a long result, you want something to continue for a long period of time, you should be doing in this currency of this yoga. And for example, what is it that you can do? You can build and you can lay down the building blocks for a new house. You can lay down the, if somebody has opening their offices, the new office, you can do it on this day. If you are laying the foundation sto uh, stone of any house, any office, any shop that can be done there. Any new work you want to start can be started from this day. In today's day and age, people uh, go virtual. So, any website that you are building can be done. Any student who is having a problem with a tough uh, subject and you want to, with, for the upcoming exams, you want to start revision, you want to start working on it. It is a good day after doing a small puja to your Ishta Devata. You can start on working for any subject, any examination as a student. For those who are into the family life, Grihastha Jeevan as it is called, you have a full chance of doing things that will enhance your wealth, name and fame. So anything like uh, starting a new shop, building up a new business, all these things can be done during this signing deals, good deals that is supposed to bring you a great amount of money. On the 25th, if you do that, it will give you a lot of riches. Another uh, area of life is where one wants to move into the spiritual aspect of life, to move on to a different uh, lifestyle. So, for them, if you want to move into a Paravidya, this is a very good time to start something new with respect to your own lifestyle. Go deep into an occult uh, study and when we mean occult, we jo don't just mean uh, astrology, numerology, vasu, etc. We mean deep journeys. One can start reading a good book, one can start with reading the Ramayana and uh, the Bhagavatam, the Gita and try to understand in depth about them. And again, uh, when we are at it, what does it bring? What does it get to us? It brings in a lot of siddhis, asht siddhi, navanidhi as it is called. So, eight types of uh, skills this Pushya Nakshatra and Guru Var has an ability to give us. So, Guru Pushya Yoga brings in a lot of good things in a person's life. So, people from different areas of life with different kinds of desires can find their life being fulfilled if they are using uh, this yoga properly in their lives provided that you have known the reason to unlock it. And while I am at it that the Ram Mandir is being inaugurated on the 24th, all of us must have thought why 24th? Again, it's a very good yoga on that day also because the sun is already Uttarayan. So, we have the ability to do a lot of good things. Anything that we have been doing for the past six months will now show its uh, colors during this time. Also, with uh, the moon in the Punarvasu nakshatra, the nakshatra of Lord Ram and also in the Pushyami mantra, uh, month, it's very beautiful, very powerful. It's Pakshbali again. And so, this is why we can do anything that we want to do it again repetitively in on the 24th and anything new that we want to do for a long period of time, we can start on the 25th. Do write in your comments, do ask questions, technical if you have about it and we will make sure that we answer your questions. Till we meet with you again, stay safe. Thank you. Please hit the bell icon for fresh updates. Don't forget to like, share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel.